Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Pokemon Legends Arceus. And if you've been watching the channel the last couple of weeks, you will notice that I am in a completely different profile. And if we come over here, I have created a new save file. We have sudo instead of sudo. Uh, it's just, I don't know, I'm terrible at puns. But, uh, sometimes I'm terrible at puns. But uh, this is an alternate account that I have set up, and it is with the intention of getting the focus on research in this game. Now we can see here that there's a couple of things that we can investigate uh, in terms of the different Pokemon that we can find in this region. We can continue to compile more and more of these as the game continues. But we are going to focus on uh, Starly and Shanks. We're going to get them to research level 10 today. And then we are going to do a lot of work getting them up to their maximum level. And that's going to be basically before we do a lot of other things. I'm going to cuddle out a lot of the stuff in between, but I want to give some of my thoughts on these processes after I've done them so you can have a general idea of which of these research tasks get easier or more difficult or what they, where they lie in terms of completion, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So let's make our way down to... Uh, the places that we know that there are Starlies after I get through uh, this mandatory uh, commentary that's happening here. Right. That, assuming the capture works, which it didn't, but if this one works, or this one, I don't know why this guy's being so stubborn. There we are. That completes the number of Starlies that I needed to catch in order to complete the uh, maximum rank in that Pokedex entry. Now, I still need to evolve a star or a couple of Starlies, um, which is fine because I've got Starlies in my party galore. I've got three of them that once they hit the right levels can be evolved. Uh, that's going to take me a little bit more time than what I'm able to do today. Uh, we need to catch three more without being spotted, and we need to defeat a bunch of them. So far, Starly's research objective has actually been fairly easy. I know that fighting them can be a little bit of a tedious task, so we're going to check the summary of our shinks here. Um... Yeah, it knows a Thundershock move, so when it comes to defeating them, we're going to be okay, because they're not very strong. Now let's just see if we can't uh, complete the uh, catching Starlies without being noticed. If I'm able to hit that Starly there. I don't know if that counts as being noticed or not. And I thought that I could throw that farther than I actually could. Okay. So now we've got that Starly. And he turned right as I was about to throw that. Let's see if that counts as being caught without being noticed. It does. So it must just be with those pensive thoughts. There we are. I can't tell which way that Starly's facing right now. I think it's back to me. Nope, not quite. All right, that should count as another one caught without being noticed. So now we just need the final one, which I should be able to find over this way. Yeah. So if we come up to this patch of grass... See, we get a quick turnaround here. Nope, it's coming closer. Turn around, I'd like to get a back strike. Oh, 
Let it go. That's not quite a back strike, but it should be without being noticed. Unless it breaks out, which it did. Dang it. That Starly's going to fly away. That's unfortunate. But there is another Starly down here that maybe hadn't noticed us. So let's see if we can't get down and around the back side. There we go. Ooh, there was a bunch of Starlies that spawned in right there. And of course, the last research objective I'm trying to complete with these guys ends up being the hardest one to actually land. And that was the thing with the other one too. So let's break down in here. Come back up around the top again. like it if you turned around like that. That should be an easy catch. And just in case that one didn't count as being without being noticed, which I think at least one of them did, if not both of them. And then we're going to send in Shinx against this little Starly here. And now it can't have its guard up, so we can Thundershock it. That should one-shot it. And we'll have to do some more uh, fighting in between to get all of those objectives. But I'm not mad about it. Um, it's a relatively straightforward set of research uh, objectives that we have for the Starly. And as long as we're able to hit it from the backside and take it unawares, we're going to be able to get the move in and take out the Starly. Because they do play very defensive and they're a little bit harder to take on. Ooh, no, 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 no. I need to stay out of sight of that Starly so I can hit it from the backside with my Shinx and have advantage going into the fight. There we go. Starly unawares again. And since they're all low enough of a level, we can just take them out and then progress back towards where we know we can find some more. Now, I will want to go back over in that direction in a moment, but I want to see if there's more of them that have cropped up here at the little entry point, because they're refreshing a lot more than they have in the past, which is good. And let's go ahead and plunk her down as we make our way down here on the approach against these Starlies. That's a back strike. That's such a cool mechanic built into this, if I'm being completely honest. Now we want to run this way. That way we don't startle the other Starlies. I don't know where the one ended up, but I can see the other down that way. Oop, nope. We're gonna make our way over here. Oh, there are two of them right there. Probably only gonna get one of them right now. If we play our cards right. Nope, that was not the right card to play. And yep, Starly's keeping its guard up, so it's going to run away from us. That's unfortunate. That other Starly is across the way. We can make our way down here, wait for it to come back. Or, even better, we can do something like that. Which, this is just kind of mean. But if it works, I'm not going to bag on it. <laughs> Alright, let's Thundershock the Starly. 
make our way up to where we know another one is. Let's get at least the 10 defeated, and then we'll kind of call things off for here, and I'll give more of my thoughts on some of the other objectives. Uh, in the next installment. I want these to be a little bit longer than what this video is going to end up being. Uh, I'm just on a bit of a time constraint because I'm getting back from some travel. So that's really what this comes down to. Uh, something saw me. Oh, it was the Starly down that way. He had hopped off the end of the cliff, which is interesting. go. Please tell me that this other Shinx in the background here isn't a part of this. So I really don't want him to be. And if we run away, we should be able to get away from the Shinx that was onto us. Now we can come back over this way and we should have access to a couple more of these Starlies. here, but there were still a bunch over here next to this outcropping of trees, so we should be okay in this right. Or not. Interesting. I thought they would have been here. There's one. Clear over here. I overshot it a little bit. If we sneak up into this grass, be in a good enough position to hit it from the backside, just like we've been doing. Take it out quite handily. There we are, a quick little night rest. Really did us some good here. Technically these are low enough in level where the point I should be double dipping in my research objectives and be using quick attacks to take them out instead of the Thunder Fangs. So I'm gonna switch and start doing that. That's still a back strike, so that's good. Now we're gonna switch to the quick attack. Oh no, I should have strong styled. Or it's fine. If we quick attack again, that's gonna take it out. And that technically counts as double dipping for us, so I'm not upset at that. If we come down here into this patch of grass, we should be able to rinse and repeat. Just about the same thing here. Let's see what the level is. It's a level three, so this time if we strong style the quick attack, that should be more than enough to take it out. Or not. Oh, that was, that was bad. That's all right. We didn't take out the Starling, but we got some additional research objectives on it. And so now, if we hit this Starling, that's all right. It's gonna run away from us. That's just a given. 
Oh, it is looking around. Well, I am going to Thundershock it just so we can take it out and claim it as another Starly defeated. Though, I really wanted to try and get one with a different move, or with the quick attacks if I was able to. So it doesn't really matter at this point because we've got the maximum amount of Starlies defeated to complete that research objective as well. It's actually looking really nice. We just need to defeat... No, we need to defeat four more. Um, so I do need to try and do that. So let's see if we can't get rid of the last couple of ones in that objective, but he turned around to run away from me and that opened him up to kind of a world of hurt. So if we agile style a quick attack and then strong style a quick attack, that's going to be enough to take out the Starly. And that's probably the better approach for us to use when we do get the surprise strike on it. That way we can get more of the uses of the quick attack in order to meet that research objective as well. And that Starly is just in the wrong position on that little hillside there for me to really do anything substantial. But if we creep into the grass over here, we should be in a really good spot to do the same thing to this guy. I think that this is the, the way to go for us to get both of those research objectives out of the way. So, Agile styled. And then we'll strong style. There we are. Nice double use of the quick attack to get us the starly defeat. And there should be one or two more over this way. Uh, either down at the little gully here or up on the hillside. So we'll peek around this way. There's none of them right there. There's generally a few up on this hill. So let's see if we can't grab this one. Because we really only need two more of them. There goes one, and here comes two, and then we just need to repeat that one more time with one more Starly, which hopefully there's one just right here on the end, but it doesn't appear like there is one, which is... Mildly unfortunate. Though I do know where we can find more of them, so it's not the end of the world. Or they're just down here. So we don't have to do nearly as much backtracking as I had initially anticipated. as long as we take that Starly by surprise, which we definitely did not. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. That other Starly walked away this way. So let's get down in this grass behind it. This will be the last Starly we need to defeat. Assuming I don't startle it by climbing up on the mountain or the hillside there. Oh, dang it. That was not what I wanted. And it's going to run away because that's what it does. Oh, it looked around. Actually, this is a level 2 Starly, so a strong style quick attack should be able to take this one out. No. Oh, it's looking around again. So we're going to agile style just to make sure that we get it out of the way. That's no more quick attack PP, but it gives us a bunch more applications of it. 
And so now if we have a look at our research objectives, we have basically everything except for Evolving Starly complete. And Shinx now has a lot of focus done here. Now I can't do a lot with this until I am able to get a ground type moves. So that's gonna be a little bit of a hassle and I already don't like the fact that it needs me to use uh, 25 of both quick attack and bite. So that's a little bit of a gripe from me as well. But we're gonna get it and I'll probably do some of the more mindless things in between and in future installments of this series, I'll give some more of my thoughts on uh, wider genres as a whole. But that's everything that I wanted to do for today. If you enjoyed this kind of uh, look at these research objectives, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for the daily variety content, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.